can say Jesus Christ is Lord without the power of Jesus assisting that person no one can say Jesus is Lord without the power of Jesus assisting that person for this world we live today is full of challenges the world you live today the world we live today is full of challenges if it is not spiritual attack, it is physical attack. If it is not a nightmare, it should be sickness. You will realize that the life of faith can never be without a challenge. The life of faith can never be without what? Without a challenge. A farmer can never be home without seeds. It's impossible. A farmer, if you visit a farmer, you always find seed. Seed he has preserved for next season. That is a proof that this man is a farmer. So your proof to show that you're a child of God, that proof is a challenge. It is our challenges that helps us to understand God's power. It is our challenges that helps us to understand the faithfulness of God. It is our challenges that helps us to know that salvation is what you need. It is your challenge. Without a challenge, you will not understand that the saving power of God is at work. Many a times, we easily and quickly forget about what the Lord has done because he has not done it now you forget about what he did yesterday no don't easily forget what he did for you yesterday just because he has not given you bread now you forget and begin to curse god remember yesterday how he delivered you how he saved you how he blessed you just think about yesterday when everyone was against you he stood for you. Just, just think about yesterday. Don't quickly curse God because he has not given you today. Don't quickly curse God because uh, you feel lonely, you feel rejected, you easily curse God. No. Remember, he did it yesterday. So keep thanking him. That is why I, I always say, we depend on his mercy and grace. What is troubling you? What is your challenge? There's no challenge God cannot handle. Whatever you are going through now, people in the past, people in the Bible, the fathers of faith, they went through it. It's not new. There's nothing new. There's nothing new on earth. Whatever you are going through now, someone went through it yesterday and God saw the person through. If you believe in God, he will see you through. Yeah. Ask your neighbor, what is your challenge? What is your immediate situation? Fear not. He is able. I can hear you. Fear not. I can hear you. Who is able? God. Who is able? God. Turn and look at your neighbor. Say, who is able? And what's your neighbor say? Who? God. 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 God is able. Whatever, whatever you are going through, the secret to attract God's presence is this. When you go through pain, affliction, humiliation, whatever, when you go through anything, 
don't quickly forget what he did in the past the moment you forget what he did for you in the past what he you the spirit of fear will come upon you and when fear comes upon you ah oh, you are finished for the devil uses fear to attack the devil uses fear to strike the devil uses fear to destroy the devil uses fear to do whatever you are seeing never be afraid when you go through something through pain affliction humiliation whatever just name it think about what he did for you yesterday it will give you some strength it will give you faith it will give you power to move ahead when you think about what god did for you yesterday it will give you strength it will give you faith power and don't forget god uses faith to answer us the devil uses fear to destroy us so for the devil to come to your life mm, it starts from fear if you can fight fear you are fighting the devil it is fear that connects us to the devil fear while it is faith that connects us to the father fear connects us to satan faith connects us to jesus why do you fear you just fear prophet they have given me a medical report i don't know what is happening why do you fear often time smiles takes away our worries ah they gave you a bad report just give a smile just give a smile they gave you a negative report what you never expected just give a smile oftentimes our smiles takes away the problem our smiles takes away the challenge just our smiles oh, why are you smiling when the report is bad you say no i know my redeemer lives oh, why are you smiling when this situation is so bad no it is bad before you before my god it is a preparation for breakthrough why are you smiling when your children are not making it that's all. when you smile you give god opportunities to bring more smiles tell your neighbor when you smile you give god more opportunities to add to your life to bring joy to bring salvation to bring more smiles when you smile you bring god closer to you you give him more opportunities to bring more smiles so sister why i want to see man of god why mm -mm. can you not see my face it is bad i want to see my oh, man of god is sleeping ah do you want me to die? Say, no, madam, you cannot die. Man of God is resting. See my face. It is not going well with me. Ah, the more you keep making your face to be tight, to be dark, you give room for Satan. If Satan gives you a punch, mm, you turn, just look at Satan and smile. Satan will know he is not your level. <laughs> he will know he's not your level. Satan hits your business, bam. You look at the business, say no. <laughs> I, I created the business. It is not the business that created me. You give a smile. Satan hits your finances. You look, you say no, I am the one working the money. It is not the money working me. You give a smile. <laughs> Many of our sicknesses originates from fear. Many of our sicknesses originate from where? Fear. Can't you see that it is fear that causes you to have accident? Because the situation was not even bad, but because you are free. Instead to apply brakes, you apply acceleration. Boom. You die. What caused you to die? It's not the car, it's fear. Many are using the car. Many people use that same car. Nothing happened, but you fear you fear 
learn to smile, learn to give a smile in whatever you are going to be, it good or bad, give a smile. Oftentimes, smiles brightens our future. Smiles calms down the situation. Smiles provokes God to add more smile. You turn in your face and it's not a good attitude. It's not a good attitude. It brings more pain to your heart. Whether something bad happens, ah, be rest assured that the deliverer of Israel, he that, that neither sleeps nor slumber, the God of the heavenly, I mean, he is alive. He that took care of you right when you are an embryo from your mother's womb, that God is alive. If he cannot deliver you today, it does not mean he will not deliver you. If God took upon himself to protect you while you were in the womb up to today, what are you afraid of? Be calm. The storms you are seeing will soon be over. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, be calm. be calm. I can hear you. Talk to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Be, calm. be calm. The storms you are seeing today will soon be over rise up rise up rise up rise up talk to five neighbors say be calm i can't hear you turn to a neighbor say be calm the storms you are seeing today will soon be over will soon be over will soon be over be calm thank you very much have your seat Why do you fear? Prophet, you cannot understand. The family I'm coming from. Oh my God. If I narrate to you our problems, you will sorry for me. No. God knows your family. More than you do. God knows the family you are coming from. More than you do. If God has protected your grandfathers, your fathers, what about you? Do you think you are the one protecting yourself? No. Just leaving your house, going to work and coming back, no accident, nothing, 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 is enough reason to trust him for greater things. It's enough reason. If you cannot trust God because you don't know him, trust him because you don't know who kept you alive. To sleep and get up in the morning is a blessing. I want to conclude by saying this before praying for you people. Listen. Whatever you go through now as a child of God, as a man of faith, don't pay attention to it. Oftentimes, Satan introduces situations before us so that we should not pay attention to God and pay attention to those situations. Mm, it's a trap. When Satan knows you too much pray, you are closer to the Father, you are closer, you, you love the Lord, he will bring a situation to deviate your love, your attention. Be wise. Are you with me? In the morning, you get up, you go to your altar. In the morning, early in the morning, in the morning, I will rise and praise the Lord. You pray to the Father. In the afternoon, at your job site, by, at, uh, let me say, 12 noon, you start your meditation in your heart. You are meditating, you are meditating. You come back from work, you want to sleep, you call your family, you pray together, you pray together and sing praises to God. Ah, Satan is not happy. Satan is not happy. Satan said, ah, this family is united. The man loves the wife. The man loves the children. The mother loves the children. The children love their parents. No, this family is too united. Satan will do all. Satan will introduce something in between the children. Satan will introduce a fight in between father and mother. 
Satan loves to see us crying. Satan loves to see us mourning. Satan loves to see us in problem. When he sees us united, he's not happy. So don't pay attention to your challenges. Don't pay attention to whatever you are going through. Satan has seen your relationship with God and he is jealous. So he wants to introduce a challenge to your life, a challenge in your business, so that you pay attention to the challenges and forget about God. Don't do that. Be wise. Are you with me? So thank you for your time. This is my piece of advice to you. Challenges should be your mentor, your friends, not your enemies. Your neighbor, your first neighbor should be a challenge. Give a smile to it and move forward. There's no one without a challenge. Even those who die, I've told you before, even in the mortuary, the dress they bring for them does not size them. It's a challenge for them. So there's no one without a challenge. Clap for Jesus Christ. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He will give up on you. Oh